Welcome to the episode 9. Today's discussion is Quen Edit. How can we get it to work and make it better use? And maybe some advanced techniques about consistent face. Time to start. So this is the workflow. 1. We will use it in realistic image editing. The model has some problems about the resolution. It was so unstable to use, but someone on Reddit fixed it and I improved it. Now it is much more stable. Here is the model and clip I am using. GGUF also exists, but it has less capability than FP8. Also, these two LoRa is essential to work with. The first one is 8-step fast LoRa. The other one is more important. It makes model more stable about the resolution. Let me show you what it really do. It is clearly stating the issue of resolution input and time. So I compared with my results. LoRa is making it more stable. You can also see the comparison down. I will give you the exact link to download. We will use workflow with this LoRa. So how to download this? You click files and versions, and there is a model tensor file. Click download button. So after we get all the requirements, we have this 112 divided and reference latent usage to not regenerate the entire image. Also, which sampler should we use is important. So I tested the samplers and I am using DPM SDE. Also, I recommend the LCM sampler, which makes lower contrast but less detailed. There is also Concat here. If you open, you can use two image input and you can prompt it that way. However, I did not really like the performance of two image. Time to see some examples of the prompt and performance of this workflow. So, first prompt is removing people from the image. Looks like it is easy task. The other one is longer. I asked it to change color, put logo and long text at the same time. It made about 90% of the job, just small mistakes on the text. But maybe it should have been more realistic. Context is better at more realistic. After that, I asked it to make weather rainy. It did what I asked for. This example, I asked it to make house interior wooden, you can try different. And it did a good job on this. Let's also change the time then. I asked it to make night. Here is the result. The model is good at one single task, but if you ask for multitask, it becomes worse. For another case, I tried to remove everything inside the room, but it failed. So I described what's inside, still, it struggled on this. So I removed the objects with two attempt. It shouldn't be that way. Because the resolution becomes lower when we do it like this. Here is the second pass. Again, it is better to make single task while doing it. So after I removed everything, I used Concat to put a sofa in this room. Which is a logical task people could try. It worked, but not that consistent. Also, it is really hard to put the position we want. You know Fluxfill is better to choose at this point. Time to see some human examples. First, I asked to change the object in his hand, which is easy task, and it changed the objects. Rest stayed consistent. Notice that there is a color change here. It's because of the sampler we use here. SDE is working different on Quen Edit. If you want to avoid this, you can try different samplers or use color match. Now I tried something interesting. I asked it to zoom out the camera, see if it can do that, and it really did. Also, the environment stayed consistent. After this, I tried to make him look to the camera. It is done, but I think head proportion is wrong. Also, image looks regenerated. After that, I tried even more hard task. I asked it to make full body shot while zooming out. I think this result is good, although head seems a little bit weird, but it is really consistent now. So lastly, I tested to change the text with the same style. And it didn't fail. You know, Quinn is very good at text. This is the results for the realistic type of testing. Now, time to see the second workflow for non-realistic type of image editing. This workflow is relatively similar to the official workflow. Except the sampler. Model has this 1 megapixel limit as you probably know. And rest of the nodes are simple. Except the model sampling aura, we should talk about this. So this aura flow node is shifting the sigma graph. Let me show you how. The default value is 3, but let's make it to 1 and see the change. The graph is linear at the value of 1. The effect of making it 1 is making the image more familiar to the reference image. That also means it follows your prompt less. 
This is the default value of 3. It becomes curve and gets more freedom while generating. So you can adjust the graph with this. We have also the recommended settings from official I prefer CFG1 and tested both 8 steps and 20, not so much difference. But there is huge difference between GGUF and FP8, also the full model. So after the first pass, I also tried second one to see the effect. I know the limit is 1 megapixel of Quinn and context is about 1400 pixels. It is making good sometimes, so I will leave you this with bypassed. It has better quality on some images. Time to see some different examples. So the first prompt is long and detailed. It starts with using the image style. Reference thumbnail and make another one. The text is nearly perfect and it is usable template for YouTubers. And also another one, it is look a bit more AI. Sometimes it hooks better to use AI image. The third one is magazine cover. I test the long text capability and performance here. Text is a little bit failed. I guess it is too long, but the font is good. And the other, changing the image style, it keeps some parts consistent. The other one is also changing the style and added some text. Successful. Let's get more trouble. I tried to make comic strip with four panels and I said black character here, really long and detailed text. And it worked, but text is a little bit messed up. We can try to change with putting it again, or maybe manual changing. Good performance. Few more examples left. One of them is making character to 3D figure. It is popular nowadays, you can try it too. I will give prompt list file. Lastly, I turn my car to the Hot Wheels toy car. You can see Quen can do many things. And we are getting closer to the end. One workflow left, and it is a good contribution to the consistent character era. Have a look at this images. It is made with Quen Edit. The pose is reference pose we want. So here, I will show you how you can control pose. So we have this workflow similar to the first. But now, sampling aura is added. Also the value is set to 1. You can play with between 1 and 3. The value 1 make it more consistent. So I am using generally this value. This is our character. Also similar nodes. Again, divisible by a 112. But now we have this reference image and Quen control net. It is actually not Quen image edit control net. It is normal Quen. But we can use it as long as we are sensitive with the prompt. Otherwise, we can get artifacts. So the pose here is complex pose. We cannot get it with regular prompting. I am using control net strength between 1.5 and 2. Here is the result. It is actually same pose and face did not change much. It looks consistent and face doesn't look like regenerated. You should know that if you try to rotate or change the face, it will be like AI generated. Now pay attention to the prompting here. It is critical because both Quen edit and the control net trying to change the image, they are battle each other. So the prompt should be simple and acceptable to the reference pose. Let's see some samples here. This is the reference image pose, the first one you see. He is sitting on a stool, so I prompted it that way. Also pay attention that I choose a picture where his legs is seen from the image. What if you just put a close portrait here? You will get bad result. So think logically about your reference image and the pose. That way the model is edit instead of generate new image. Another example, he is standing and same prompt working again. Another example where he is standing with perfume bottle. The only problem is the resolution is lower. It's because model has that limits. So I get this poses from the net and convert it with open pose processor. But what if we want so specific pose? That problem can be solved by editing the open pose manually. Let me show you a one way. You go to the website open pose AI. This is showing the 3D view of your reference pose. So click to the file and detect from image and put your reference image pose here. After that, you'll get the pose. Now you can click each body part here and rotate the way you like. So for example, I rotate hands and legs. The default mode is on rotating, but we can also move it. After you made some rotate settings, now you can go to settings and open move mode. That way you can move the body parts. After you made the change you want, click generate button. 
the right down corner images will appear. First one is pose. But before we download, two things we should think about. The first one is resolution. Our image is vertical and specific dimensions. Look up right corner, you should adjust it that way. You can see when you move the angle, pose is changing. We need to make it directly looking to the camera because we don't want to generate new perspective of face. The consistency of the face can be lost, or we can get artifacts. After you made your adjustments, click the image of the pose. This is just basic reference pose generation. So the image of the pose is ready. Now all you have to do is put the pose image to the load image node and connect it to the apply control net image. Here is the samples I got from same person with mid portrait reference image. I controlled the pose. So I think this is fairly enough for this episode. Hope to see you on the next one.